Welcome to the AH-64D Basic 30mm Gun Area Weapon System Employment. You begin in flight north of Katasi Air Base at 500 feet AGL. You are in active pause. This training will be performed from both the pilot and co-pilot gunner positions. When in the CPG position, you will use the George AI to fly the aircraft while you engage targets. Unless otherwise indicated, most highlighted button presses and spacebar presses will immediately forward the lesson to the next step. On your first time through the training, it is recommended that you listen fully to each set of instructions before taking the action that will move the lesson forward. Survey the Copilot Gunner Cockpit. On the left MPD, you should see the Weapons page. On the right MPD, you should see the TSD. On the HDU, the lower left corner shows C-HMD, Copilot Helmet Mounted Display. The lower right corner shows Fixed. If everything is satisfactory, on the front console, toggle the Safe Arm button to Arm. Next, waz up the gun. TDAC left hand grip was up. A glance at the left MPD will show the gun is armed to be fired from the co-pilot gunner position. Finally, check the left side of the weapon page to see burst limit is set to 10 rounds. Press spacebar to continue. The target is a group of insurgents at an airfield unloading weapons from a cargo plane. The specific targets are the insurgent trucks. The threat is small arms and RPGs, so this target will be engaged starting at about 2.5 kilometers. You will now enter the target point in the TSD. On the right MPD, begin by toggling the TSD nav mode to attack by pressing bottom 2. Select the point page with push button bottom 6 and then add with push button left 2. Toggle the cursor to the TSD and move the cursor over the target area as shown in the pop-up graphic. Then press cursor enter you will notice a red T01 appear in the TSD. Press the spacebar to continue. Press bottom six point again to back out to the main TSD page. Now you need to direct the pilot, via George AI, to fly towards the target. The easiest way to do this is to designate T01 as a waypoint. Set T1 as the fly to point by pressing RTE, TSD, push button, bottom 5, then DAR, push button, left 5. Use the cursor to select T1. Press the spacebar to continue. With T01, the current fly to point, bring up the George AI interface. When you do, you will see the fly to symbol on the George AI compass. Use the George AI controls to set the heading bug to the fly to point heading. Also set the George AI airspeed to 70. Finally, since the target will be engaged at a longer range, ensure George AI altitude is between 750 and 1000 feet AGL. When you have accomplished these functions, switch back from the George AI interface. When you have returned to the normal cockpit view, press the spacebar to continue. Select T01 as the acquisition source. 
press TSD top 5 cord. From the target list that appears, select the T1 line with push button left 1. Slew the TDAC to T01. Target T01 is now the acquisition source. Set TADS as the site. On the right hand grip, switch the CPG site to TADS. And then press the slave button. This will shift the TADS view to the target area. However, the T01 point is likely not exactly over the target, and from 5 kilometers, the view of the target area may not be clear and or obstructed. You must move towards the target. As you close to the airfield, you will search the area, find the insertion activity, and begin to aim at specific targets. When you are ready to fly and begin the attack, press the spacebar. Once the aircraft settles onto its new heading, On press speed. slave to toggle it off. Use the right hand grip manual tracker button and left hand grip zoom buttons. Search the area near T01 until you find the C-130 and the insurgents unloading it. Focus on a group of targets and use the laser range finder to get an accurate range. Press the LRFD trigger on the right hand grip to the first indent to send a short laser range finding burst. On the TADS, when the LRFD activates, an X cross appears at the TADS crosshairs. When you have targeted the insertion activity and gotten a good laser range, press the spacebar to continue. Slow one down. On speed. Copy, slow one down. Speed set.
Success! The insurgent arms delivery has been interdicted. You are in active pause. The next step is to employ the gun from the pilot's position. The pilot employs the gun for immediate suppression of threats to the aircraft. The scenario simulated for this part of the lesson. Press the space bar when you are ready to continue. Change the waypoint to waypoint 02. On the TSD, press RTE, push button, bottom 5, then DIR, push button, left 4, and finally press WP02, push button, right 4. On the HDU, you should now see W02 as the fly to point. Take control of the gun by pressing WAS UP on the cyclic. The weapon page should confirm this status. Press the spacebar to continue. The back seat cannot make use of the laser rangefinder. The pilot can enter a manual estimated range or use automatic range, which takes radar altimeter info and the pilot's aim via the IHA DSS to calculate range. Basic trigonometry. Currently, the pilot is using a manual range set to 1500 meters. To set automatic on the left MPD weapon page, press man range, bottom six. On the keyboard unit display, man range will show. Press A, then press Enter. The M adjacent to the Field of Regard box will have changed to A. The range value next to the Field of Regard box will also have changed. Look around outside the aircraft and note how the range changes in 100 meter intervals. When you're satisfied that you can aim the gun via the HDU with auto range data, press the space bar to continue. When flying again, you will head towards waypoint 02. Climb to 1300 feet AGL and establish 90 knots. When ready to do this, press the space bar to resume flying. As you close in on waypoint 02, you detect an enemy AAA site that has just been deployed. Red smoke marker. Maintain your course and suppress the targets when within 1500 meters.
way was suppressed and or you are clear of the threat. This ends the basic gun tutorial. Press escape to exit or continue to fly.